EastEnders maestro Brian Kirkwood. Uh, he is here to take your calls, your emails on uh, all aspects of EastEnders very, very and shortly. There's so many. There's so many. So we'll get into the competition, and that could buy you an EastEnders set. It could. You could live <laughs> like a soap star with this. £10,000 and a family holiday in Florida. Inside of your mouth, it was very nice, Chocolate. that chocolate. Honestly, it trust me, don't listen to him. You're the man's a heathen. Uh, anyway, thanks, Joe Swash, for that one night EastEnders. Yes, now, from a fire that uh, marked last orders, of course, of the Queen Vic, to a funeral that never was, this lot, well, they make our lives look a bit boring, really, don't so. they? <laughs> You're my Stacey. Joining us live oh. on this morning, the man responsible for all of those storylines, that's EastEnders executive producer, Mr Brian Kirkwood, now in front of the camera. Terrifying. Cameras. Yes. Right. And in the car store watching you this morning now, yep, the green room. Yeah, ready to cackle. In <laughs> first car. Morning, well, look, everyone. The first thing people are, are obsessed with is, is the fire. Um, and, um, gosh, having said that, I'm trying to see who's asked a specific question about the fire. But um, When did you decide? Because yeah. you've only been at EastEnders since earlier this year, haven't you? Actually get EastEnders in in HD. Will it gradually come in or will that be a big unveiling? Uh, we don't have a date yet. Have to be gleaming and shining and new. What difference HD will make? Uh, the old set, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Ian Beale's backyard really would not have held up under HD scrutiny. So, uh, I mean, they've been there for 25 years. So, um, a lot of the... How seriously do you take the threat of the celebration of Coronation Street's 50th and the things that they are going to do? Uh, well, I say good on them and good luck, you know, it's, uh, I'm sure they do it brilliantly. But what do you do that week? Do you, do you sit back and say, well, c'est la vie, that's what's going to happen that week, or do you counter that? Do you have something else planned for EastEnders that week? Well, I mean, we, we plan up to with the material we've got lined so up. So talking of storylines, we had so many emails this morning. Thank you, everybody. We'll try and get through as many as we can. And lots and lots of people asking about Christian and Saeed, saying we haven't seen them for ages. Are they going to have another storyline? Have you got plans for them? Helena Where on Twitter, they? Bridget <clears throat> Jameson, Hannah Chase and Pam and Leeds are amongst those. Uh, Christian and Saeed, they're really popular. Um, both Johnny and Mark will kickstart that story in the next couple of months. Next month, OK. Kate uh, Hayes Kate on Hayes. Facebook. Morning, Kate. Yeah, Kate says, what's the big Christmas storyline? Can you give us any indication of what you've got planned there? Yeah, uh, Lacey Turner will be leaving us. We're really sad to say goodbye to Lacey. March, but would she ever be able to come back? I'm not, not? going to say. Oh. Now, Mr Brown, you came from Hollyoaks, right? right. And, um, and, you, and you joined in March of, of yeah, this year. Yeah, March. ideas. You must naturally bring a Hollyoaks sort of perspective on things. Something <laughs> you might want to introduce into <laughs> Albert Square. No, if so, right. I'm not very good, but I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, they're two very different shows. Uh, the similarity that comes with that is, is tremendous and quite intimidating sometimes, but I think... Now, we see faces come and go. You just said there, Lacey Turner leaving, um, and there's going to be a new actor coming in playing Ben Mitchell, because right. Ben, as we know, is the way young offenders. And when he comes back, he's going to be a new Ben completely. And that's always strange for us, and we seem to take to it quite quickly. That's right. The new face. I mean, Why have you changed, Ben? Uh, well, I think uh, Charlie Jones, who played the first Ben, was a... Did you feel about Barbara saying that she didn't want to come back and it was the end of an era, really, for the Queen Vic? Sure. Well, Barbara's always welcome to come back. Vera was to bring great humour, great mm. characters, great personality and great poignancy as well. If there is a criticism too long, too, sure. too depressing, too angry sometimes, what would you say to that? I think that was tremendous mm. in that crack story and absolutely mm. justified while we... Arnett, both on Facebook, say, just saying <laughs> Phil's kitchen there, brought that one up to me. Why doesn't anybody have a washing machine? <laughs> <laughs> very good. Brian, thank you very good much indeed. Good luck pleasure. and well done with thank all you. your awards recently and whenever. And, and hello to everybody extenders. who's watching this morning. Thank you. Uh, we have to say goodbye now because um, we've got to that time of the day. Enjoy yeah. your weekend. Remember, you've got uh, this morning, Saturday, that's on... Uh, uh, 11.30 and 11 .30. Uh, Sunday, 11.50, all the highlights from the week and uh, on Monday Hill Hilly and Flollop Hilly and Flollop Hilly and Flollop, Flollop and Holly Hollop. are joined by Ross Kemp and there's the X Factor gossip <laughs> Have so a great weekend Warn you about drinking during the <laughs> programme that red wine in that, that chocolate sauce sort of perspective on things. Something you might want to introduce into <laughs> Albert Square. No, if so, right. I'm not very good, but I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, I mean, they're two very different shows. Uh, the similarity that comes with that is, is tremendous and quite intimidating sometimes. But I think... 
Now, we see faces come and go. You just said there, Lacey Turner leaving. Um, and there's going to be a new actor coming in playing Ben Mitchell, because right. Ben, as we know, is the way young offenders. And when he comes back, he's going to be a new Ben completely. And that's always strange for us. And we seem to take to it quite quickly. That's right. The new face. I mean, Why have you changed, Ben? Uh, well, I think uh, Charlie Jones, who played the first Ben, was a... Did you feel about Barbara saying that she didn't want to come back and it was the end of an era, really, for the Queen Vic? Sure. Well, Barbara's always welcome to come back. The era was to bring great humour, great mm. characters, great personality and great poignancy as well. If there is a criticism too long, too, sure. too depressing, too angry sometimes, what would you say to that? I think that was tremendous mm. in that crack story and absolutely mm. justified while we... Arnett, both on Facebook, say, just saying <laughs> Phil's kitchen there, brought that one up to me. Why doesn't anybody have a washing machine? <laughs> <laughs> very good. Brant, thank you very good much indeed. Good luck and well done with thank all you. your awards recently and whenever. And, and hello to everybody extenders. who's watching this morning. Thank you. Uh, we have to say goodbye now because um, we've got to that time of the day. Okay. Enjoy your weekend. Remember you've got uh, this morning, Saturday, that's on... Uh, uh, 11.30 and 11 .30. Uh, Sunday, 11.50, all the hard first thing people are, are obsessed with is is the fire um, and um, gosh having said that I'm trying to see who's asked a specific question about the fire but um, when did you decide because yeah. you've only been at EastEnders since earlier this year haven't you actually get EastEnders in HD will it gradually come in or will that be a big unveiling uh, we don't have a date yet have to be gleaming and shining and new what difference HD will make uh, the old set, I think so, yeah, Ian Beale's backyard really would not have held up under HD scrutiny. So, uh, I mean, they'd been there for 25 years. So, um, a lot of the... How seriously do you take the threat of the celebration of Coronation Street's 50th and the things that they are going to do? Uh, well, I say good on them and good luck, you know. It's, uh, I'm sure they do it brilliantly. But what do you do that week? Do you, do you sit back and say, well, c'est la vie, that's what's going to happen that week? Or do you counter that? Do you have something else planned for EastEnders that week? Well, I mean, we, we plan up to do with the material we've got. So up. talking of storylines, we had so many emails this morning. Thank you, everybody. We'll try and get through as many as we can. And lots and lots of people asking about Christian and Saeed. So we haven't seen them for ages. Are they going to have another storyline? Have you got plans for them? Helena Where on Twitter, they? Bridget <coughs> Jameson, Hannah Chase and Pam and Leeds uh, amongst those. Uh, Christian and Saeed, they're really popular. Um, both Johnny and Mark will kick start that story in the next couple of months. Next month, OK. Kate uh, Hayes on Kate. Facebook. Morning, Kate. Yeah, Kate says, what's the big Christmas story now? And can you give us any indication of what you've got planned there? Yeah, uh, Lacey Turner will be leaving us. We're really sad to say goodbye to Lacey. March, but would she ever?